welcome back to another video and this time i have my special guest ashton i started retwisting his hair i'm gonna say last year like last november he doesn't usually stick to a specific retwist schedule but i'm trying to get him on a little monthly or every other month schedule like i am on his locks are way 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 longer than mine like as y'all can see they're out of the frame his locks are about 10 years old and when he started them they're like not really uniform some are thinner than others some of them are different lengths as well so it's kind of challenging to retwist his hair but i like it because it gives us a chance to bond and a chance for me to practice my little skills <laughs> so as usual just like i do on my own hair i start off with some rose water on his roots um, and then i go through and part it usually with a rat tail comb before i go in with this smaller black comb and when i use the black comb i try to use the finest side like you know how they have like the bigger side and the bigger side i try to the bigger side and the smaller side <laughs> i try to always use the smaller side if i can as you can see with this one this is like three locks combined but not really combined correctly and so when i'm retwisting someone's hair like this i say someone this is the only person's hair i retwist besides my own y'all <laughs> but when i'm doing someone's hair like this you just want to make sure that you're going slow and you're just putting the hair in a direction that like makes sense um because right now we're just focused on having it look the best that it can look for his hair this time i did a combination of like kind of comb coiling and kind of just twisting with my finger like i do my hair um i honestly i'm not gonna say i don't see a difference but like i feel like the major difference is in combing out the roots so if you don't feel comfortable with your comb coil technique like mine isn't even the best simply just combing out the roots gives you that super duper neat style and like i said earlier he doesn't have any specific parts but by taking my time with that comb and making sure i'm smoothing out those roots i feel like i get him pretty neat um I use the same exact products on his hair that I use on my own, that Shine and Jam Magic Fingers. As you can see, like it looks a little bit white right now, like it's gonna leave a residue, but that all dries clear and there is nothing left over. And if there is, we both use a clarifying shampoo, so it's no biggie because we're gonna wash that right out. But as y'all can see, this is what I was talking about um, without using the comb coil method. Like I just combed through and then I twisted it and then I finished it off with a palm roll just to get like the mid part that's a little bit beyond the roots more smoothed out this is my process uh this is the shortest amount of time that it took me to retwist his hair like i was so proud y'all it only took me two movies <laughs> typically it was taking me like four hours to retwist his hair and maybe that's because he likes to have twists or some type of braid or style with it because one he skateboards two he has a job where he moves around a lot and so he really likes his hair to be like out of the way and definitely out of his face and so it takes me a long time but I think this time what really helped me ironically was like taking my time and going slow with it but also making sure that I'm standing up usually we do it with both of us sitting down and that honestly doesn't give me like the best leverage or movement and flexibility to do his hair so if you are thinking about retwisting someone else's hair i know it can be uncomfortable but i definitely suggest making sure that you're standing up just so you can get like the perfect angle that you need and then this time i use my ring light also because his apartment doesn't have great lighting and i feel like that helps so much like obviously being able to <laughs> see what you are doing but yeah this might be my best retwist on him okay people be like who did your hair oh kennedy she taking clients nope this is my only client this is my only client okay okay it already takes us way too long another thing that i like to do with his hair that i really don't have to worry about with my hair because i don't have as many locks as him and my hair is nowhere near as long is to make sure that my sections make sense and by putting his hair into sections like this it kind of motivates me because i'm like dang we're going fast so this day i separated his hair in half so we had the bottom half and the top half and then on the top half i put it into these two little space buns as y'all can see right here <laughs> and then i just started working on those buns individually Right here, I'm just doing that same method that I was doing earlier, putting a little bit of that shine and jam on, combing it through the roots, making sure that those roots are smooth, and then going in and either comb coiling it or right here, just spinning it at the root with my fingers and then palm rolling the rest of the way down and then making sure that it's pinned in a secure position.
he hates it but I try to always tell him that like when my hair is super duper wet and I notice this with his hair also because he has like a lot curlier hair than I do when the hair is super wet it's kind of hard to get a good grip on the locks and I feel like it's harder to get a neat retwist and so although I do spray with rose water I try to make sure that it's just damp and not drenched now he might disagree with that and say that I need to put more water but we see how straight I got him looking right how straight I got him looking <laughs> Here I am again, making sure that that part is just as crispy as I can possibly get it without ripping him a new one. I like to pin the hair to the side. That way I can just go in and really make sure that I'm getting only the hairs that I want in this section. I add my shining jam and I repeat the process. This is what his hair is looking like after I was all the way done and he has his side shaved and he gets a haircut in the front. So like any hair that you see left out or you're like, um, girl, what's going on right there? That's because he's getting it cut off by the barber. <laughs> this is what his hair is looking like. I don't remember if this was before the dryer or after the dryer. He only sat under the dryer for like 20 minutes because he didn't feel like doing all that. Um, and I feel like his hair was dry enough that it was okay. So I just went through and took out all the clips carefully. I retwisted any of the locks that I felt like had too much loose hair out of them. I just palm rolled them really quickly or wrapped the hair around itself. And then I got started on the styling. We were arguing about which style we wanted to do this time, but he wanted two braids straight to the back. I was like, okay, my braiding skills aren't the best there is, but we are going to make it work. <laughs> and so it might look like I'm gripping his hair hard right here. I don't think that I was. It's just a matter of he has a lot of locks and I don't really braid on anyone besides myself. So I did this braid like three or four times, y'all. Like what I show you in the end, I actually went back and fixed it <laughs> after that. Cause I want, you know, my work to at least be a reflection of me. I gotta have you looking straight. I gotta have you looking straight.
We are just doing a braid straight to the back. I'm picking up locks as I go along. Again, I went back and fixed this one because I was like, uh, I don't like how it's looking towards the bottom. It's too loose. But he ended up liking it. Here is how the hairstyle looked. Again, it was just two braids going straight down. And then, of course, when he went to work, he put it all in a ponytail. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.